Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Wednesday. I cannot believe it is almost the end of August. Where did the time go? Anyhow, so I want to come on here and talk about all the drama that's been brewing once again with Dr. Umar Johnson. There's a lot going on, especially concerning our current VP, Kamala Harris. And so what's going down is that you have a lot of celebrities who are stepping up. They are endorsing her. One of those celebrities is Plies. Plies has been going hard in the paint for Kamala Harris. In case you've missed any of Plies' videos, here goes one of them. Check it out. Hey, it's real motherfucking simple with me. Until Kamala Harris, go to jail. Until Kamala Harris become a convicted felon. Until Kamala Harris five motherfucking bankrupts and six times her and her company. Until Kamala Harris is impeached twice. Until Kamala Harris is indicted four motherfucking times. Until Kamala Harris is found liable for sexual abuse. Until Kamala Harris is found guilty of motherfucking fraud and got to pay 300 and some motherfucking million dollars. Until Kamala Harris start a motherfucking insurrection. Until Kamala Harris try to overthrow a motherfucking election. Until Kamala Harris is married three motherfucking times until Kamala Harris have five kids from three different motherfucking men until Kamala Harris do any of that. She's a better motherfucking candidate to me. Now you do whatever you want to do with your motherfucking vote. But I'm not voting for no motherfucking rich white man to be able to do whatever the fuck he want to do. I'm just not doing it. I don't hate motherfucking women that much. And I damn sure don't hate a black woman that much. So you can vote for a motherfucking AK or you can vote for the motherfucking KKK. You vote for whatever motherfucking K you want to motherfucking vote for. That's your motherfucking business. But Trump been telling you since 2000 motherfucking 17, he going to show you that motherfucking health care plan. Has he shown you yet? He been telling you since 2017, that motherfucker coming in two weeks. It's going to be big. It's going to be beautiful. Has he showed you yet? He told you he's going to overturn motherfucking Obamacare. Did he do it yet? He told you Mexico going to pay for that funk ass wall over there. Did they motherfucking pay for it yet? He told you he's going to raise motherfucking minimum wage. Did he do it yet? He was going to lower the motherfucking price on prescription drugs. Did he do it yet? But she need to motherfucking explain something. Ah, she don't ever talk about her pocket. Yes, she motherfucking do. You just don't want a motherfucking hit. That lady told you she trying to get $25,000 a motherfucker who's trying to buy a home. Trying to build three more motherfucking million homes. Trying to lower the drug prices for everybody, not just the elderly. Trying to get tax cut to the middle motherfucking class. That lady trying to no tax on tips or whatever the hell it is. That lady telling you what she trying to motherfucking do. You just don't want a motherfucking hit. All right, so you guys just heard what Plies had to say. So Umar seems to be annoyed. He feels like, you know... Kamala should not be allowed to just get the black vote because she's quote unquote black. He also claimed that Kamala Harris's campaign reached out to him and they offered him to do an interview for $10,000, okay? So Umar is basically saying that everybody who's taken up for Kamala, who's promoting her, they were paid $10,000 from the campaign. So he calls out Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, even D.L. Hughley. Well, Steve Harvey spoke out and basically denied these claims and says that $10,000 is a sneeze in the bucket to him, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these clips of Umar Johnson going off about the situation and Steve Harvey's response. So y'all go ahead and check this out. We're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both. No hate to my big brothers. But if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we? See, I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we not gonna get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know we not gonna get nothing out of that vote. 
y'all know y'all not we not going to get nothing out of the vote but they being paid y'all being bought they offered me 10k for an interview with kamala harris i don't want your money but we can definitely do the interview we're going to be honest steve harvey and ricky smiley and i love you both no hate to my big brothers but if we're going to be honest ricky smiley and steve harvey y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on can we please be honest can we see i want y'all to understand overstand and understand what king kong is talking about y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on kamala harris and the democratic plantation is paying you celebrities paying you to shame black people into voting y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote y'all know y'all not we not going to get nothing out of the vote but they being paid y'all being bought they offer me 10k for an interview with kamala harris i don't want your money but we can definitely do the interview president kamala harris and went on to say that he believes other celebrities are being paid to support vice president kamala uh, for her bid for the White House, right? Umar specifically called you out, Steve. He called out Ricky Smiley. He claimed that both of you were paid to support Kamala Harris's campaign. Here's what he said. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both, no hate to my big brothers. But if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on can we but we can definitely do the interview steve well first of all we're going to have her on her again or how many other times it's mm -hmm. needed to get her yeah. into office <laughs> to get the vote. uh brother umar let me say this man i absolutely love some of the things you say mm -hmm. i really really do man some of the stuff i don't always agree with but ain't nobody got to agree with everything i say but let me clear the air on something <laughs> Please. You can't hire Steve Harvey for ten thousand dollars. Do nothing. Yes. <laughs> let me just let me just a that out the way. I, can be. Nah, I don't know where you got that number from, but you can't offer Steve Harvey ten thousand to do nothing. Not, you can you can go through the industry and ask about me. That's Bruh, a. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Omar, Omar, let me tell you something, man. And there ain't no hate here at all, because I cause I like some of the work he does. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. I, listen, man, I I don't he said I don't too. do nothing. Nothing for ten thousand dollars. Don't e don't even insult don't <laughs> insult the brand equity that I've built over these 30 years yeah. of television. I just don't, man. And uh -huh. I, I'm doing this absolutely free of charge because uh -huh. I want this country to be in her hands mm -hmm. as opposed to Donald Trump's hands. Mm -hmm. That's why I do it. Hey, now, yes. me and Ricky Smiley happen to be on the same page. Now, we mm -hmm. Q's now. And so is D.L. Hughley. Mm -hmm. And Q's kind of run the airways of black radio. Okay. All That's, right. The cues is running the airways of black radio. All right, purple but, and gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we also understand what's at stake here. So uh -huh. no, I haven't yeah. received a single dollar from anybody to do what I do. And I I'm doing it gladly for free. Yes. And I'm going to freely her. have her on here again and again and again. Uh -huh. I am going to freely uh -huh. ask soft ass questions. <laughs> I am going to freely lob the basketball so she can slam mm -hmm. dunk all these mm -hmm. questions. Oh, yes. I am going to that. freely mm -hmm. sit here and agree. So the black okay. vote, the black vote is not for sale. Mm -hmm. But it but, is a very important block of votes. Yeah. That can control the outcome of this election. And if That's I right. have my way, if it is in within God's will, she will be the next president of the United States because the alternative, see, there's only two people running for president. Yeah. It's Kamala Harris, my Madam Vice President Kamala Harris, or Democrat. Donald Trump. That's, yeah. that's the choice. Yeah. So I don't know 
<laughs> you know, and if somebody offered you 10, you I, you should have took it. <laughs> but ain't nobody but, but, offered but, me nothing. But don't but, please don't please don't insult me and offer me ten thousand dollars. Cause I'm telling you right now, it cost way more for me we're gonna oh. turn this mic on. Oh, Steve, Way we more. gotta get him. It's ten dollars, ten thousand dollars. I can't okay. even let that get out about me. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of All right. Money. All right. So you guys just heard what Steve Harvey had to say. So after that, Umar Johnson took to his Instagram page and he said, "This. I'm proud of you, Unc. Glad to know your pockets are heavy and all that. But you made a few selfish comments during your rant, Unc. Respectfully, the people will need a little clarity on some of the things you said." I will hit you in a few respectable follow-up questions soon. Um, stay black, elder. So then he ends up making another video. And then in this video, he not only calls out Steve Harvey again, but Ricky Smiley as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. I want a television debate with Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, Ricky Smiley versus Dr. Umar Ifatunde is the Democratic Party, the party of African people. Roland Martin can join in too. Somebody get Steve Harvey on the phone. Somebody get D.L. Hughley on the phone. Somebody get Ricky Smiley. Dr. Umar wants to come on y'all show and debate you three on one. And if y'all need Roland to help you out, Roland can come too. We can make it four on one. Steve Harvey said, that the Omega Psi Five brothers run the radio. In all respect to my Omega Psi Five brothers, the late great Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad was a member of Omega Psi Five, so I'm not going to reduce the Omegas down to three men. We're going to keep this about Steve, DL, and Ricky. Okay? I want a debate. DL Hughley, will you debate me on your radio? Steve Harvey, will you debate me on your radio? Ricky Smiley, will you debate me? I'll debate all of you separately or all three of you together. Since y'all run black radio and I run black consciousness, it's only right we have a clash of kings. Y'all called the kings of comedy, right? Let's call it the kings of comedy versus King Kong consciousness. I'm ready right now. Intellectual Ifa Tunde is ready right now. All right, so you guys just saw the video of him wanting to basically publicly debate Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, and D.L. Hughley. So once again, Steve Harvey ends up responding, but this time he responds to him in front of a crowd. And then D.L. also responds to him as well. So let me play y'all this clip first. But he came back because he said Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley being paid $10,000 to promote Kamala Harris. I took offense to that because I don't do shit for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> and you're not finna mess my money up, putting it out there that my rate is now ten thousand dollars. <laughs> off that shit, brother Umar. You know good here well. I'm pulling for Kamala Harris because she is the better candidate of the two. Period. That's all I need to know. All right, so you guys just saw that clip of Steve Harvey basically once again saying that he does not work for under $10,000. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys these tweets that D.L. Hughley posted on social media. So he posted the video of Dr. Umar Johnson basically challenging him to a debate. And he says, bet, why don't we televise it live from the cafeteria of your school? <laughs> This is why you can't get into it, real comedians. So he says, bet, why don't we televise it live from the cafeteria of your school after the, <laughs> after the kids have all had lunch? <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is funny because we all know this school has still not been built, okay? Everybody's been waiting for this Umar Johnson FDMG Academy school, and it still has not come to fruition. So he says... Live from the cafeteria of your school after the kids have all had lunch, provided free of charge, wearing free uniforms. <laughs> wearing free uniforms provided through all the donations you have taken for years. Then he goes on to say, Dr. Doolittle, this ain't what you want. Hashtag Team DL. <laughs> So DL wants all the smoke. So I'm just cracking up at that. Then he goes on to post a video of when Dr. Umar was on Vlad TV. 
And um, he wrote this. Hmm, that Dr. Umar school is sounding very Trump University-ish. Any longer, he's going to have to start mailing out refunds and diplomas. <laughs> and we all know what happened with Trump University that is now defunct. We have this breaking news just into CNN. President-elect Trump just agreed to settle a lawsuit for $25 million. We talked about Trump University a lot during the campaign and how it could be a massive problem for the Trump administration. People who attended the Trump-branded school, you may remember, claimed that they were sold a bill of goods and that they were lied to. The president-elect had filed appeal after appeal, insisting that he did not defraud people who attended Trump U. But now, and again, just minutes ago, at a press release, the attorney general announced the president-elect had agreed to $25 million settlement for the more than 6,000 victims. So DL is not here for his foolishness. And um, DL basically checked Umar. Umar has not responded back to DL as of yet, but I find this whole situation very interesting. Um, he claims that Kamala Harris's people reached out to him. He posted a screenshot of them reaching out to him. But my thing is, if they reached out to you, why not debate the source? It seems like a lot of his issues is with Kamala. So why not debate her? You know what I'm saying? Why do you want to debate Steve Harvey and DL and Ricky Smiley? Debate the person that you're upset at, which is Kamala Harris. Not that she would debate him anyways, but I'm just saying. I think at the end of the day, everybody, like I always say, has a right to support whichever candidate they want to support. So if he's not supporting Kamala, then who is he supporting? Is he supporting Trump? And if you're supporting Trump, then just come out and say that and stop trying to look for attention and throw tantrums on social media in hopes of baiting people, you know what I'm saying, to talk to you and to debate you and all this other nonsense. So once again, Umar Johnson is out here acting a fool. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation concerning Umar challenging DL and Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey to a debate. How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys agree with Umar or do you feel like Umar is once again looking for attention? And why won't he be honest about who he's supporting? Because again, if you're not supporting Kamala, then most likely you're supporting Trump. So I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Make sure you guys hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family.